Today on CJ Off-Road, we're going to show you how to light up the trails in your new JL. If you're looking to add some more light to the front end of your JL, then today we're going to be installing this Rough Country 30-inch hood-mounted light bar fitting your 2018 Jeep JL Wrangler. This Rough Country 30-inch Black Series light bar features 12,000 lumens and a direct 100% bolt-on installation. It won't interfere with your washer nozzle or your spray pattern, and it contains a 30-degree spot pattern to give you a nice intense light when you're out on the trail. It has an IP67 waterproof rating, all the necessary hardware, and the wiring to get it installed. With that being said, let's get it put on to our 2018 JL Wrangler. Tools you need for this installation, 3 8 inch ratchet, 10 mm socket, 15 mm socket, 4 mm Allen key socket, and a small plastic pry bar. We're at the driver's side and the first step is actually to pull the windshield wiper off. We're going to use a non-marring surface to get the cap popped off and get started. Pop this little plastic cap off. Then there's a 15 millimeter nut underneath there. You get that removed. After you have the nut off, you can pull the windshield wiper off. Pull straight out towards you. Repeat the same process on the passenger side, then we can get this plastic cow part removed. Now we can pop off the plastic cow cover. We're going to use the same non-marring tool. Just get along the edge. Pop it up towards the front. On the inside of the hood hinge right behind the cow cover, there are two 13 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and loosen them up. Do not completely remove the hood from the hinges. We're going to slide the bracket included right in between there. Go ahead and grab the included bracket. Make sure that this angle faces back towards the windshield. It'll give you enough clearance behind the back of this hinge to mount the other bracket onto it. Slide it in between the washer and the body. It'll fall nicely into place. Then we can get those two bolts tightened up. Get the bolts nice and tight. Then you're now ready to put on the next bracket that bolts right onto here. If you have the driver's side installed, we're actually gonna move on, do the passenger side bracket then reinstall the plastic cowl cover. It's necessary to do this and get the wire tucked under before you can install the second part of the bracket. If you do it ahead of time and install the second part, you won't be able to get the cowl cover back on. So we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna take the light bar and actually lay it over where the cowl would be. In order to get it in the right spot, I'm actually gonna put it right along here. Just tuck it in front, right along that edge. Give myself a little bit of slack, and then there's actually a little foam pad here. Pulls right out. Pop the wire underneath, put the foam pad back in. The wire's now under the hood, and we can get to that wiring aspect as soon as it's completely bolted up on top of the Jeep. We can now lay the cow cover back on. Make sure you get both of the wiper studs back into place. And drop it down. And it's all push pins, just go along the entire edge. Then go over to the passenger side and get everything pushed down the way it should be. Once all the push pins are back into place, we can now work on the driver's side, getting the second half of the bracket installed. With the cowl properly installed, we can now install the driver's side second half of the bracket. This is what's actually gonna hold the light bar on. As you can see, it slides behind here. Then you're gonna use the included four millimeter Allen head bolt to go through the front. Put a washer on the back. And then your nylon lock nut. I'm going to get these snugged up with a 4 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket. Just to get them started, these are adjustable. I'll get the other side mounted and get the light bar on, and then we can make our final adjustments. Grab an extra set of hands and pick the light bar up, set it into place. 
Aim the light bar, then use the included Allen key to get the outer bolts tightened down. Once it's in a roundabout position you like, go ahead and tighten these two brackets down. Then we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Now there are a few options for when you wire up this light bar. This included harness is really nice. It includes everything you need to get it wired up. All you have to do is put the positive and the negative onto the battery, run your wires into the cab with the on off switch, and you're done. In our case, we're going to wire it up to the Mopar auxiliary switch and see how it looks. We just wrapped up the installation of the Rough Country 30 inch Black Series light bar on our brand new JL Wrangler. Overall, this was a pretty simple installation, plus it's going to give us a ton of light output when you're out on the trail. It's a really sleek design and I kind of like that. Normally they mount on the hood hinges. This sits a lot lower and gives a really sleek design for your brand new JL Wrangler. The install time is about two hours and you can find this part as well as many other great parts for your JL right here at CJPonyParts.com.